Hi, this is Gus Lanzalotta at Profile Racing, and today we're going to walk you through the assembly of a Profile Z Coaster. So first we're going to start with the Z Coaster driver. I'll show you where all the parts go, and then we'll assemble it. If you need to see an exploded drawing, go to ProfileRacing.com, and the drawing's there for, your, uh, for you guys to view. So first we'll start with the driver itself. It doesn't have any bearings in the front. Um, and then there's an o-ring slot in the center so what I typically do first is I put the o-ring in and you gotta get it in the slot inside so as it goes down in there you'll, you'll know when it's in the in the slot like that and then from there you press the bearings in on top and once the bearings are pressed in then we go ahead and start doing the assembly on the pawls and the springs so on a on a driver like this, this is a left hand drive I typically put the pawl in first and use my finger to kind of activate the pawl back and forth and keep it outward and then take the spring with the rounded part down and insert it into the slot just like that and then you do the rest of them and then from that point once the springs and pawls are in, you'll have to depress the springs and the pawls with all three at the same time. So typically, you can hold it like this, and you take your cam ring, which happens to be a 90 degree cam ring that we're going to install on this one, and you would just insert it into the driver as such. And then once that's completed, there's a snap ring that goes on the top that keeps everything in place, just like you see here. And then the final step is basically is the cassette spacer and you'll notice it has a tab on it. So if the tab is this way as you're looking down at it then that's left hand drive. You flip it over and you look down at it it's right hand drive. So essentially you think when you're looking at it it looks right hand but it's actually for the left hand drive hub and so on. So then once, once that is done you take it and you put it in the slot where there's no you can see here where the 90 degree cam is, so you put it where there's no no bump and it'll pop right in, sits on that o-ring, and that is done. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and assemble the Z-Coaster hub. And this particular hub is left hand drive, pretty green, emerald green, and it's going to get a chromoly 14 millimeter axle. So let's go ahead and we'll press the bearings in, always put the top in first. This is from the start. Once the top bearing is in, then you can take your axle, insert the axle into the hub. This will go into the press. I know some of you guys don't have this, this press option. However, you can try it with a, a socket that will fit directly over the race of the bearing which is the outer race of the bearing, so as long as the socket will fit directly over the outside of the bearing and not damage the hub, you should be alright using that to press it. Then that will go on there, and again same thing with the socket, as long as it fits on there, you can take a, uh, a press, and we just press it on. Make sure it's down all the way, take it out, and uh, doesn't wiggle back and forth, we're good. And next what we're going to do is take the uh, driver carrier bearing and we're going to put that into the hub. Make sure it's seated all the way down. And then from there we'll take the driver and we'll insert the driver. And you noticed well, before I do that that the pawls are engaged so that they're not sticking out. It makes it a lot easier to put the driver in. So when it pops down in there like that, you're good to go. Take the jam nut for the drive side. Put that on. Alright, so the jam that's on, both sides, cone. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and tighten them down. Now I would suggest probably somewhere in the 50 to 60 inch pounds of torque which is, uh, it's, it's a quite a bit. So then we can test it and see if it works. You 
you can hear it when it when it goes to stop you can hear it click like that and then it engages and then it clicks the other way you'll know you have a good center spacer so what we do is you want to make sure the jam nuts always stay tight so I would do a routine maintenance depending on your riding load if you're out there riding every single day maybe take it off once a month make sure these jam nuts are tight otherwise it could cause the driver to disengage or misengage if you will and that's it that's how we built the Z coaster